oranges. They are so delicious. Now, welcome to this tutorial, which is our first lecture, of which we are going to deal with the introduction part of music, so that we may be able to journey together in this particular course. Let's begin with the specific objectives. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to do two things. Number one, define music and also appreciate music in the sense of there is a lot to be able to learn. I appreciate this particular course and be able to get its significance. So let's dive in quickly and be able to do this quickly. What is music? You may just have a question. You may have wondered what might music be? Is music what I usually just hear people singing and doing all those particular stuff? Or is there something detailed of what music might be? other than what I just usually hear and appreciate it to be music. Let's get this particular definition. Music is an organized sound that is pleasant to the ear. So if something, if you have various sounds collected together and they are pleasing to your ear, that is what we term as music. So it must be sound that is organized and is pleasant to the ear. It cannot be something distorting or something discordant. It can't be such a manner. Like, for example, here I have a piece for you. Is a very good example of the pieces that I love. You may have just a glimpse of how it plays. That is basically The Bloom is on the Rye by the composer is Sir H. R. Bishop. So basically that's just an example of a piece of music and uh, you may just be able to get your time to, be able to listen to it. So by understanding that music is an organized sound that's pleasant to the ear, why then should we have music or why do we have those organized sounds that are pleasant to the ear? Basically music is a form of communication such that you can be able to talk, you can be able to Pass some particular feelings that you have. For example, the bloom is on the rye. If you listen to that song, it just gives you a very happy glimpse. You tend to listen more. What does this song have? It gives you a desire of listening to much more of it. So basically, that's how music drives. It's a form of communication. Sir Bishop might have had a particular message to pass. For example, if you look at his particular choice of lyrics, it's a particular boy. Uh, let me not say call him a boy. It's a particular a gentleman speaking to the fiancé and he's telling him about the proposal for their marriage. So, in that particular sense, this, uh, the audience being the lady yearns to be able to listen more of what this gentleman has. So it's a form of communication. Another thing you also need to know is that Communication, basically, if we start it from the point where it begins from, it's basically speaking. So music, because it's a form of communication, it is similar to speaking. Whereby we have information relayed from the composer to the audience, similar to the information being relayed from the speaker to the audience. That's the same thing. So it shall depend on the theme of the composer who has in mind. That basically is focusing on the information. So that particular information will depend with what we have in mind. Am I with anxiety? Do I have fear? Do I have something to relate to you in a happy mood? It depends on the composer. Another thing we also need to note is that there are different types of music genres 
where we can connect our mind and our feelings. Notice the piece that we just had, the bloom is on the right, um, increased our yarn to be able to listen to the sewing even more though I cut it short. You find that just yarn, you want to listen to more and more and more. But that's just what we just slightly had. So it affects, it connects our mind and our feelings. So music can help reach the darkest corner of our heart, can touch it and even make it brighten. So the song that we just, it brightened our thoughts. We just want to listen more. Could you please listen, give us more? But that's what we had. So in a nutshell, there's a bunch of goodies that the music package comes with. That's something we just have to appreciate. So that is basically, in a nutshell, why we have music. Let's just do a comparison between music and language. You'll just be surprised of how, of how music is similar to language. Maybe you have never thought of this, but just look at how it blasts, opens. Let's focus first on language. Number one, language is built up on various elements. Let us just look at what those elements are. If you notice, we have six elements of language. We have phonetics, we have phonology, we have morphology, we have syntax, we have semantics, we have pragmatics. For example, phone phonetics are basically the speech of sounds, phonology, we have phonemes, phonemes. we have uh, morphology, is uh, the matter of looking at now the words, basically the study of the words. We have syntax, we have phrases and sentences. Um, semantics, we'll be looking at literal meaning of phrases and sentences. And then finally, pragmatics, we have now meaning in context of a discourse. Now, what of music? We see that language is split up in various elements. Music is also in the same category or in the same structure. It is built up on a variety of elements. We have melody, rhythm, harmony, form, dynamics, and texture. Basically, in this setup, this particular image was taken quite some time ago. So, in the this particular lecture, we shall ha now have a replacement of dynamics to another particular element. We shall look at it in the future. And th that's basically the next tutorial. So don't be worried about the future. It might be something very long. So those, those are the various seven elements of music. Aha. Uh -huh. Basically, what is basically mean missing here is what we call pitch. So it's basically melody, rhythm, harmony, timbre, form, pitch, and texture. Dynamics now come under the tools that music has. Let us just do a more comparison. We have looked at the elements, language and music, they have elements, meaning they, they are almost slightly similar. Let's see if the, if the similarity or the comparison is more solid enough to say that they are similar. Number two, you find that language is governed by a set of rules. What do I mean by set of rules? For example, if I'm speaking, I love to speak in a particular pace. I cannot speak, hey, I'm just coming to see you, I'll, and I'll come to you. You can even not listen to it. I cannot even speak well. You speak in a pace that somebody can hear. And also, in the manner of which you deliver the speech, we have tonation, we have stresses. So it depends basically on the rules that are there. And these rules will be able to tell us of what basically you are trying to relay and the meaning of what you are trying to express. Similar to music, it's also governed by a set of rules. For example, we have just looked at the piece of music in which, in that particular piece, there, are, there is a particular way it has been played. It has not just been playing constantly. There are some pauses, there are some uh, places it continues, there are some places you find it strikes hard, it's stressing at some point. There are a set of rules that govern it. We shall look at that in with time so don't be worried comparison number two let's go to number three language is built in a form format of particular of a particular way we have letters let us build up words and those words build up sentences the sentences build up paragraphs paragraphs will build up chapters finally the chapters will build up books what of music if I tear down music apart, the smallest one that I'll have are notes. And notes combined together will be able to give me measures. So you may find them in collections called measures. 
and if i build up several meshes i'll create phrases phrases will bring me to sections sections will give me movements and movements finally will create a whole entire composition so basically each of them notice that they have similar number of um, structure of a structure in which they build up the particular major picture so language has the six parts that build up language we also have six parts of music that build up music so basically that's what we have another comparison the four you find that language whether spoken or played has the ability to affect our thoughts and feelings influencing our characters music similarly can reach our feelings and even change them similar to language so what we just what are we trying to mean in a nutshell that music is an organized sound that's pleasant to the ear now this specific music is built up of a variety of elements and basically in a nutshell we have seven musical elements we shall look at them in the next lecture music is also governed by a set of rules so we ought to follow and know how to use them we have to just to be in the cocoon of those particular laws we should not go out remember the person applying those laws is under the laws and the person giving the laws is even under the law still so we just have to be governed by the rules number three music has got features and tools whereby we were seeing the various notes measures phrases speak, uh, talk about them until we ha and have an entire composition so all of them ought to be studied finally music can reach our feelings and even change them so we have to be choosy and choose the appropriate affection to our audience so as we dig deeper into becoming good and responsible musicians we have to be able to learn how to be able to play and arrange our music in such a way that the affection given to our audience is the affection we so desired and is appropriate for them so basically that's what we have here in our next lecture we shall be able to look at more please don't miss it out so basically why do we have music uh, there is much more in store to be able to unleash as music is concerned so that simply tells us that there is much to eat than mix the eye so don't miss out what is coming much more much more is yet to come which is bigger and even what you may not be able to expect Ooh, what a wonderful class it was now you can now come and share some oranges But remember, a good musician is always learning, just like a very good vine dresser. There's up oranges. We have to learn. Keep it up. Wait for the next lesson. Meet me in class. So, in the next lecture, we shall look at elements of music, but one. Stay tuned.